Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit more casual. I'm just going to sit here and go over some basic points that I have written down and talk about this new Little Nightmares 3 announcement that was put out not too long ago. So before I really get into it, I should probably mention that there are going to be some minor spoilers for Little Nightmares 1 and 2. So yes, as you read from the title and you've probably seen online at this point, Little Nightmares 3 has gotten itself a trailer. And to be fully transparent, I didn't even realize there was going to be a Little Nightmares 3. From my understanding, I thought the franchise was finished with the second game, but it looks like the game has been picked up by another company. Some sort of deal was made, I assume, giving them the rights to make a new sequel. I would assume that the original company is still overlooking the project, but anyways, moving along. I love the Little Nightmares franchise. It's got such a strong sense of aesthetic and style that really sticks with you for a very long time. I loved the first game and loved the sequel even more. And I know that they released some short comics and mobile game called Very Little Nightmares that I played a bit of. That was also pretty fun, in my opinion at least. But anyways, jumping into the Little Nightmares 3 announcement, the two biggest pieces of media that we have right now, or I should really say the only pieces of media we really have right now for the game, are the teaser trailer and the poster that they released. Now taking a look at the poster, you can immediately see our two new main characters. Now what I'm wondering is, is this game going to be co-op? like a lot of people thought the second game was going to be? Or is it a similar system to the second game where you have one player and one AI that sort of follows them around? Either way, I'd be pretty happy. If I were to take a guess, I would assume it's probably going to be single player with an AI helper. But anyways, moving along from that, going into the character design itself, I love the new look for our two little main characters. I especially love the Masquerade Plague Doctor mask that this little guy has on. It's adorable. I love especially the one kind of winky happy eye. It creates a nice sense of asymmetry. But also, I love the yellow onesie that this other main character seems to have on. It's a kind of reminiscent to Six's yellow raincoat from the first and second half of the second game. Also from this poster, it looks like we have an idea of what tools to expect, with one of the characters wielding a little wooden bow and the other one wielding a large metal wrench. Now, are these going to be tools that we carry throughout the whole game, or are they tools that are going to be swapped out and changed as the game goes on? Based on the trailer, it looks like we may not always have these tools, or maybe these are tools that are used in the early section, and then they get swapped out for new ones. Let's take a minute to talk about the background in the poster and the environment that we see in the trailer. It seems pretty clear that a big part of the game is going to be this rundown carnival section, and personally, I'm pretty happy about that. I love a good rundown theme park aesthetic with vines growing over and reclaiming old buildings, giant rusty machines falling apart, slowly giving way to time. It's so fun and moody, but also has a lot of opportunities to be very creepy and eerie. And speaking of creepy and eerie, jumping back into the trailer, there is a new enemy that I am particularly interested in. That being this giant doll creature, which I think I can pretty confidently say is the largest creature we have seen in the Little Nightmares franchise. Unless you count the wall eye pus thing from the end of Little Nightmares 2, which I mean I kind of count. If I'm being fully honest, I can see this going either really well or potentially wrong. I say that because on one hand, this giant thing chasing you down through these ruined buildings and old carnival can give you this horrifying sense of never truly being able to get away or escape from it and really create this sense of foreboding. But there's also a chance that it turns more into just the occasional environmental thing, you know, and could go from feeling like a real threat 
to just kind of feeling like a part of the background that's there and can kill you if you're not careful. But still being honest, I believe in the Little Nightmares franchise's ability to maintain a creepy atmosphere with this kind of monster. Also, another thing I've noticed is this continued motif of broken mirrors, which immediately reminded me of the lady from the first game. So I'm wondering if that is going to come back in any significant way in this third game, or if they're just doing something new with the mirrors, you know? It's hard to say, but I guess we'll see. At the very least, we do see the main characters using it as some form of transportation, a lot like the TVs in the second game. Also, I figured I'd bring this up really quickly, but I don't want to dwell on it too much. But there's been some quote-unquote drama going on with this release, with people up in arms over the skin tone of our little masked main character. And in all honesty, I have no idea why people are making such a big deal out of this. But, you know, every fan base has to have some group of people that have to freak out over the smallest of things when something gets announced. So, just to wrap things up, I guess I'll go over the release date. Currently, it looks like the game is planned to release in 2024. I think we can all pretty easily assume that that's going to be mid to late 2024. Definitely not early 2024. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much all my thoughts summed up. So, I know this video is a little different than a lot of the other videos I upload on this channel but I thought it would be fun to try talking about games rather than just playing them. So hey, let me know if you guys like this kind of video. If so, I'll keep making more of them. If not, I'll try something new, you know? I love hearing feedback from you guys. It's very important for the channel. But other than that, yeah, I guess I'll be tuning out for now. Talk to you guys later.